Hello, Hope Kids. It's Miss Lena. Hope all of you guys had a great week with your families. We are really happy that you get to join us today. Last week, we learned about what happened that last day Jesus roamed the earth. He promised to send the disciples a gift from God called the Holy Spirit. Jesus told them that the Holy Spirit will dwell in them and be their helper. And you know what is even better than that? Is that the Holy Spirit is inside of us as well. It guides us, it shows us how to pray, and it even shows us how to understand the Bible. In Acts 2.43, it tells us that through the power of the Holy Spirit, many signs, wonders, and miracles will be done through the apostles. Today, we're going to learn about one of those miracles and about a poor beggar who was lame from birth and had an extraordinary encounter with Peter. But let me not tell you the entire story. See it for yourself. Peter and John were going to the temple one afternoon to pray when they saw a man who had never been able to walk in his whole life. Each day, the man sat at the temple gate begging people for money. Can you spare any money for a poor man who can't walk? I don't have any silver or gold for you, but I have something even better. In the name of Jesus Christ, get up and walk. Peter helped the man stand up. As he did, the man's feet and ankles were instantly healed. The man began walking, leaping, and praising God. When the people saw this, they were amazed. People of Israel, why are you so surprised? Why are you staring at us as though we did this all by ourselves? God did this so that everyone can know the power of his son, Jesus. Many people believed what Peter and John said, and they decided to become followers of Jesus too. Some Jewish leaders became bothered by Peter and John's teaching. They arrested Peter and John and had them put in jail until morning. The next day, they brought Peter and John to a large group of the men who ruled the whole kingdom. Even the high priest was there. By what power or in whose name did you heal that man? Rulers and elders of our people, are you holding us captive and asking us these questions because we've healed a crippled man? Do you want to know how he was healed? Let me be clear. The powerful name of Jesus healed this man. You crucified Jesus, but God raised him from the dead. Believing in Jesus and following him is the only way to be saved. There is no other way. The rulers were amazed by Peter and John's boldness. They knew Peter and John had been with Jesus. And since everyone could see with their own eyes that the man who couldn't walk was now healed, there was nothing they could do. Still, they tried to find a way to stop Peter and John. Fine, we will let you go, but you aren't allowed to ever speak or teach about Jesus ever again. But Peter and John refused. Do you think God wants us to obey you rather than him? <laughs> no way. We cannot stop telling about everything we have seen and heard. The council tried to scare Peter and John into staying quiet about Jesus, but it didn't work. Finally, they let Peter and John go. They couldn't punish them without making the crowd angry. After all, everyone was praising God for healing a man who had never been able to walk. What a great story. When Peter saw a man at the temple gate, he took the opportunity to share with him something that was more valuable than gold and silver. Peter told him about Jesus. By the power that was given to them by Jesus, he was healed. In that moment, in Acts 3.8, it says he jumped to his feet and began to walk and then he went to them into the temple courts walking and jumping and praising god like peter we should always be ready to help those in need especially by teaching them about the source of all healing which is jesus by fixing our eyes on jesus he will provide for us in ways more amazing than we could ask or imagine like the beggar, we too will experience God's life-changing miracles. We will move from the earthly to the heavenly, beyond the ordinary and to the extraordinary. Let's pray. Father, we want to experience you in the miracle-working God you are. The Bible teaches us that you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. Please do a work in our lives today take our eyes off ourselves and help us fix them on Jesus, the author and the 
perfecter of our faith, the one who heals, the one who redeems, the one who restores. We ask that you do a life-changing work in us. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thank you guys for joining us today. Hope you guys have a great Sunday. Bye!